It was my destiny to be the WWE Champion. I want to represent every one of you. I mean, this match is over. With respect. This is not the mark of a true champion. With honesty. That's no way for a champion to act. I am a real champion. You are not a champion. I am tired of you bullying people because you say you can. And that golden destiny that you got your hands on, that makes you a target. You're about to find out that your destiny is John Cena whipping your ass. Oh, gosh! Alberto Del Rio seizing the moment. I'm the man who's gonna change WWE forever. I will be the man who's gonna replace legacy with my destiny. Which man is gonna continue the illustrious heritage of the WWE title? Is it gonna be John Cena or is it gonna be Alberto Del Rio? Wait a minute! That's Del Rio's fly yellow Ferrari! That love John Cena strategy. Kicking this thing off with a little mind games. Think you're the only one who can drive fancy cars down to the ring. I stole your Ferrari. How's that make you feel? Ladies and gentlemen, this is about the WWE Championship, the most coveted prize in sports entertainment since 1963. And John Cena, the challenger, has held the title a record nine times. I can't believe John Cena stole Alberto Del Rio's bright yellow, very expensive sports car and drove it out here tonight. Oh, come on, Michael. It was just a joyride. That car is worth $300,000. That's Grand Theft Auto. Cena really should be arrested. Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one can come out ahead. John Cena making a move. Punch connects. Struggling for control. Collar and elbow battling for control. And John Cena gains momentum in this match. If John Cena wins here tonight, he'll extend his already record number of WWE championships to 10. Hey, no, that's on top of his two World Heavyweight Championship reign. Cena truly has one of the most historic championship histories of all time. And let's not forget that John Cena is also a former three-time United States champion. At this point, King, I think it would be quicker to list the title Cena hasn't won. I think you're right. Great move. Oh, look at the emotion. John Cena. Oh, man. Big right hand, right to the chin. Look at this. Just six days ago on Raw, we were treated to a very special tag team match. Vintage Cena. Alberto Del Rio has to be learning now what it means to be in a championship match with John Cena in his never-say-die attitude. Oh, you're right about that. This match is truly emblematic of Night of Champions. What we're witnessing here tonight is great! Alberto Del Rio says that he's going to change WWE forever, that he will... Ladies and gentlemen, John Cena is now a 10-time WWE Champion. Oh, that's great. Let me say it. The champ is here! Well, let's just savor this reaction for a moment.
A picture is worth a thousand words right now. And John Cena celebrating like it was the first time he ever won the WWE title. You would too, Cole. I have the balls to say things that nobody else has the balls to say. Who's really pulling the strings? Is it you? Or is it your bean-headed wife? You don't wear the pants in the family. But you do wear her panties, don't you? You disrespected me as a man. Now, deal with me as a man. So at Night of Champions, no disqualification, punk. Anything goes. Not if, but when I beat you, you resign as COO at WWE. Done. The following contest set for one fall is a no disqualification match. Introducing first, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing 222 pounds, C.M. Punk. Earlier tonight, ladies and gentlemen, John Cena defeated Alberto Del Rio to become a 10-time WWE Champion. Oh, yes, and listen to this crowd. Oh, man, they're excited. But we haven't seen excitement yet. Wait until this thing explodes.
So much on the line here for Triple H. If he loses to CM Punk tonight, he will be forced out as COO of the WWE. Well, you know, this started out as business, but CM Punk made it personal. And right now, Triple H is hoping to end it. This one's not going to resemble a match. This is two men who are going to tear each other apart here tonight. Triple H showing tremendous focus and determination here. Clothesline! CM Punk goes down hard. Man, I don't think CM Punk even knows what hit him. When CM Punk first came to WWE, he claims Triple H saw him as a pompous, undersized internet darling that couldn't hang with the lights of the game. Well, Triple H doesn't deny it, but he does say CM Punk has a warped internet philosophy on how to get over in this business. According to Triple H, you get over in this business by making sacrifices and busting your ass in the ring every night for the good of the business. Well, isn't that what CM Punk has been doing over the past six years? What an impressive combination of moves. He gets out of trouble there. Oh, it's no disqualification. Anything goes here tonight. You know, Triple H may have the advantage in this type of match. This is his element. No doubt, King. The game has participated in some of the WWE's most brutal matches ever. CM Punk might live to regret that comment about Stephanie wearing the pants in the family. Yeah, and I don't even want to repeat what CM Punk said the game wears under his pants. Kevin Ash almost single-handedly cost CM Punk his opportunity at the WWE title when he distracted Punk in a number one contenders match on Raw. And that's after Nash played a major role in Alberto Del Rio capturing the WWE title from Punk at SummerSlam. For some reason, Nash really has it out for CM Punk. Keep in mind, King, Kevin Ash was originally slated to take on CM Punk here tonight. Spine buster by the game. One thing's for certain, CM Punk was going to leave this arena here tonight bruised and battered. And what a reversal from CM Punk. 
Well, CM Punk has said numerous times that he wants change. But to get that change, he's going to have to go through what looks to be a very determined Triple H. Speaking of change, Triple H said he would give it to Punk, but not before kicking his butt first. And that's exactly what he's doing right now. Although I think I need somebody to tell me what a skinny fat ass is. What's going to happen now? match. This is perhaps one of the greatest matches ever. I don't care who you were rooting for. This match was fantastic. 